When we listen to or analyze music, consciously or not, we assume that coherence is in play. In tonal music, coherence is inherent to the harmonic syntax of functional harmony. One strategy composers apply to add coherence to post-tonal music is by actively using specific pitch class sets as basic structural units. In this video, we will survey how the set called O14 is used and transformed melodically and harmonically in Schoenberg's Nacht from Piero Lunaire, Opus 21, and also Webern's Wie bin ich froh from Three Songs, Opus 25. The survey consists of three parts. First, the shape of motives. Second, the interaction between motives. And finally, the expansion and application of motives. When we discuss the shape of the motive, we are referring to its melodic contour. In Schoenberg's Nacht, the O14 motive, E, G, E flat, appears as an ostinato figure. This three note figure is first played in the piano and then in the cello and bass clarinet simultaneously. After the introduction, this figure occurs once in every measure in different instruments. It is important to note that both the pitch class and intervallic contents are preserved in each repetition. The 014 motive is presented here in its compact form. E ascends to G by three semitones and then descends to E flat by four semitones, yielding an overall semitonal descent. In Webern's Wie bin ich froh, however, the contour of the 014 varies. Let's turn to the vocal line. The first three notes, G, E, D sharp, and the intervals they describe play a particularly central role in shaping the melody. The melodic contour of this figure first descends by three semitones and then ascends by 11 semitones, yielding an overall eight semitonal ascent. The same melodic contour reappears in the middle of the first phrase, articulating D, B, B flat in measure three, and C, A, G sharp in measure four, both of which belong to the 014 set class. As highlighted in the example, other 014 motives featuring different melodic contours appear in the voice and piano parts. O14 figures that share the same melodic contour are highlighted with the same color. For example, the opening 16th note triplet, F sharp, F, D, in the piano part, articulates a retrograde inversion of the melodic contour discussed a while ago. The second feature Schoenberg and Webern differs in their use of the three note motif concerns the counterpoint between the 014 figures. The introductory passage in Schoenberg's Nacht sets up a gloomy mood with its use of superimposed 014 motives in the lowest, darkest possible register. To make it easier to understand, the music is rewritten in a higher octave in the example. The first three notes is the familiar 014 head motive. The second note of the motive, G, is also the first note of a transposed statement of the motive, G, B flat, G flat. The second note of that statement, B flat, then becomes the first note of a new statement, B flat, D flat, A. This process continues upward yielding different 014 motives. All the six statements of the motive are packed into three measures and hence this introductory passage can be said 
to be motivically saturated. Motivic saturation is also featured in Webern's Wie bin ich froh, albeit in markedly different ways. The 014 motives in the voice and piano interact and are in counterpoint with one another. In fact, all of the 16th note triplets in the piano part are 014 figures featuring different pitch classes and contours. The 014 triplet figure usually appears between the 014 motives in the voice, developing, echoing, and reinforcing the same musical idea. For example, the piano triplet figure in measure two, G, E, D sharp, imitates the opening 014 motive in the voice in both pitch materials and melodic contour. In addition, the piano triplet figure in measure three, C, A, G sharp, precedes another 014 figure, C sharp, F, D, in the voice. Finally, let us focus on a technique used to expand the 014 motive in Schoenberg's Nacht. This technique of composing out is an important unifying device in post-tonal music. Composers of post-tonal music often find ways to project a musical idea simultaneously at the musical service and also over larger musical spans. In measures eight and nine, three quick 014 figures are played by the bass clarinet and the piano, respectively. The three 014 figures are E, G, E flat, G, B flat, G flat, and E flat, G flat, D. The opening notes of these figures can be extracted to form the head motif E, G, E flat. And in this sense, the original 014 head motif is elaborated in diminution by three differently transposed statements of the same 014 figure.